then we can start. Uh, yeah, uh, update from interchain team, uh, Susanna. Muted. Sorry. Muted? I oh. just um, I think Jim from Agoric is joining. He just posted a message in Discord. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, um, just um, yeah, prepping some content for some of the upcoming releases, um, for the Wasm client and the callbacks middleware. Then um, Addy's also been working on a, a relay dashboard, um, which needs a few changes to be made, but then hopefully can share it uh, in the next call call. Um, the website work is still uh, going along and um, same with the road mapping, most of the updates. Right. Um, thanks, Susanna. Any questions? If not, I uh, can continue with the updates. So on protocol and engineering, uh, yeah, this iteration, we hope to finalize the 7.3 release and also release callbacks uh, version one. Uh, our target release date is uh, 1st of September. So 7.3 is the release that will uh, add support for the ADR8 uh, interfaces. Uh, it will also have the uh, support for JSON encoding of ICA transactions. Uh, yeah, what we have left to do is working on the documentation uh, for the callbacks, middleware, and the interfaces. Uh, yeah, Serdar has been working on that and also um, some some uh, minor improvements that uh, came out of the security audit that the team did. Uh, we're gonna also uh, check with Confio uh, that the interface of the contract keeper that that they, that they agree with the interface and that they will implement it in uh, in Cosmos Wasm. Uh, yeah, Carlos. One thing I just want to call out: um, Ethan Frey has gone on sabbatical for the rest of the year. Yeah. So we won't be able to get his eyes on this. Um, who at Confio is doing this work? And is Ethan Frey's sabbatical going to block merge of the Wasm Lake audit? Yeah, so so um, we're, we're in contact with Alex. He's on holiday right now, but he's uh, he's back next Monday. So as soon as he's back, we, will, we, we already uh, communicated this with him and we discussed this already with him. Serdar uh, will have more, more details. Uh, and we kind of got a confirmation from them, uh, but we're just gonna get a um, yeah the final act uh, next week hopefully. And we can... So what's the what's the timeline for merge on that work? So sorry, the timeline for merging. He's talking about wasm client, Carlos, oh, not sorry. not ADR8. About wasm clients, yeah. Um, can we talk about it um, just in a few minutes? Uh, if I go through oh, the, the... Sure. Yeah. Totally. sorry, I thought you were talking about the wasm clients. Okay, okay, yeah, no problem, cool. Um, yes, so so for callbacks, uh, getting the ACK from Confio next week, yeah, uh, passing the compatibility tests, and then, um, yeah, we should be ready for the release. Um, right, Serdar, I'm missing, missing anything. No, just uh, just a, a backporting work that needs to be done, but that should be ready by September 1st. Um, so, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think everything everything is sounds good. Cool. All right. So yeah, that's seven point three. Then uh, for V eight. Um, so last week, uh, Susanna and I were discussing. Susanna has been talking to teams, um, and yeah, we de we decided to change the scope um, a bit. Uh, so we we decided to take channel marketability out of the release. Uh, we keep the bump of SDK 50. The reason is that, uh, yeah, hopefully we can make a release of V8 uh, sooner uh, so that we don't block teams that want to upgrade to SDK 50. Um, yeah, uh, for this work, we need, uh, yeah, for the for the upgrade to SDK 50, we need to, uh, yeah, interchain test, um, a new version of interchain test also bumped uh, so that we can run our own. Yep. Run our own my, team, my, my team will have that ready soon. I believe we've got a yeah. PR that's in our current sprint. 
should be ready so cool that's that's great thanks a lot uh, that will yeah and block us uh, and that will be very useful uh, we are also working on the yeah started to work on the governance v1 migration yeah so we have a couple of uh, legacy handlers that we want to migrate to governance v1 messages so we would like to include also that on v8 yeah and jacob and notional are also helping a lot um, uh, with the with the upgrade work to SDK 50. So yeah, uh, hoping to, yeah, our target release would be end of September uh, release date. Um, so hopefully uh, approximately in three, four weeks, we should have an RC and then uh, two weeks later, we can do the final release. Yeah, so then, um, yeah, that would be the, um, the update for V8, then channel availability. So just to be clear, the interchange Berlin team is not actually working on that upgrade. They are relying on Notional for that. Sorry, Jack, can you repeat that? Um, I just want to make sure that I heard that right. You're relying on Notional for the SDK 050 update, and you're, you guys are just reviewing the PR. You guys aren't actually doing the work. Well, we're doing some work, uh, but yeah, definitely Jacob and Notional are doing a lot of work. Uh, Colin uh, reviewed and did some work on the initial PR, and yeah, we probably will still do some work, but but yeah, Jacob and Notional are doing a lot, uh, yeah. And we are reviewing the PRs and merging those, yeah. Okay, you know, uh, I have some questions about Notional quality of work. And as long as we QA that properly, I think it's fine. But uh, that team didn't ship a lot of bugs in the past. And I just want to make sure that we're upholding those standards. Yeah, we will we, we review all the PRs. Um, we follow the same process as reviewing any other PRs. So yeah, we definitely make sure that yeah, we, we don't slip through any any bugs. Yeah. And we will also have an audit. We we'll, uh... okay, would just call out that that team is kind of unreliable. They've been a very disruptive presence in a lot of areas, and the work that they do is of questionable value. Um, you know, I, I don't know if that, continuing yeah, I to think, I think... that team is, is necessarily a great idea, but I'm just voicing a judgment on that. We don't need to decide for any better. Uh, I think that that's your opinion and the workflow has been going well and I don't think it's the right place to be talking about things like that. It's not what is the, what, what, is, what is the correct forum to have that discussion? I don't think it's nice to be saying negative things about collaborators in the community call it doesn't create a very nice environment okay well yeah anyway thank you Susanna. Yeah. okay um yeah so so far our collaboration with national has been has been positive and yeah we we appreciate their their work and and we make sure that yeah we review it and so we will continue doing that, yeah. Okay, so then for, yeah, for channel gradability, so yeah, we still uh, continue with working with it. Um, uh, yeah, we, we're trying to finish the issues that we have in our alpha milestone. Uh, this should complete the, the refactoring uh, of the latest spec changes. Um, yeah, and possibly if we finish the issues this iteration, we can do an uh, the first alpha audit next next iteration. Yeah, so that's uh, channel reliability, and then was on clients. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, so we got the, the the from the report of Ethan Frey, we have um, um, yeah we have uh, completed uh, most of the issues. I think we have maybe one or two left that we still need to work on. Um, yeah, and now we're trying to to work together, yeah, with Strange Love and Composable uh, to see if we can get the the end to end integration tests with the updated contracts uh, to make sure that um, yeah everything works fine. 
Um, yeah, so at the moment that's a bit uh, where, where we are blocked uh, to getting the, the new contracts. Um, yeah, and as soon as we have, uh, yeah, uh, anything, anything there, we will will run tests and yeah, try to move forward with that. Does that answer your question, Jack? Um, Sure. Okay. All right. So yeah, I think that's it. That's all uh, the update from engineering. Yeah, I'm trying to yeah move forward with have a few things. Hopefully, this iteration we can finish seven point three and callbacks, and reduce uh, um, the the scope of things we have in progress. But yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Any any questions? about all this stuff. All right, if not, then we can continue with the other updates. Um, from Hermes, yeah, Luca uh, told me that he couldn't join um, and he gave me a short uh, update. So at the moment they're working on the yeah, new architecture and um, looks like uh, they have some issues with operators and yeah, they're trying to, to solve those. Uh, from Relayer team, any update that you would like to share? Jack, uh, this Justin is not here. Jack, do you have any updates for the the Go Relayer? Uh, yeah, I mean we've been doing a lot of work on. Avalanche IBC, that's some relayer work. We've been doing a lot of work with Penumbra to help support them. The relayer interface and re-architecture that we completed last year that Hermes is undergoing right now uh, is really paying dividends on our side. We're also doing a number of things to support users in a production capacity and, and debugging issues on a weekly basis. Uh, I don't have full context on exactly what work is going on there, but relayers in active development. Right. Um, just to augment that, uh, we're also currently on the current sprint. We're working on relayer support for the liquid staking module. Mm -hmm. cool. Uh, cool. Oh, great. Um, all right. <clears throat> uh, do you guys think uh, that you will also need some work here for the BAMP of SDK 50? Um, I think probably we'll slot that into a sprint. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, then from other topics, uh, yeah, the pocket network, ICS 23, PR. Yeah, I think it's a little bit broader than just that ICS 23 PR. Um, pocket is looking to build IBC on top of their tenant chain that is, non, that is a non-SDK chain. And they have dedicated engineering effort to that. There's been a lot of discussion around generalizing the IBC Go repos to work on other ecosystems. And that's the team that is trying to do that work right now. They called, I was on a call with them yesterday and they said that they had had a lot of trouble getting work into the core repositories and they had no, they weren't receiving support from the core team. I'm just interested as to what's the plan with them because they have two full-time engineers working on that. And that's work that we could leverage to goals that we share collectively. And denying PRs really pushes folks away. And the team that I talked to yesterday sounded sad and confused that they had been, uh, feel, they felt like they were shut out of the repos. So um, yeah, I'm just interested what our plan is with Pocket. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, we 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 didn't have much capacity to to look into what they're doing uh, in their implementation of uh, IBC. Um. So we can try to to uh, plan that um, maybe for next quarter, and see how we, we can leverage uh, and collaborate. Um, yeah, they have they have two full time engineers working today mm -hmm. and for the next few months on this work, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that if they can't 
find folks to work with, with the core team, they will just fork off and do their own thing. So there's a yeah. limited window for us to bring that work in house and keep them on mainline. Um, and if we don't, then they'll just go implement whatever they want to. So it's uh, this is a situation that is not a like a next quarter thing. It's something that we need to figure out how to support them. So um, I did actually talk to them a while ago, not recently, but back then they only had one engineer and uh, he was an intern. So I didn't know they bumped up to two full-time engineers now. Uh, back then we, uh, I basically helped them with some of the more core concepts and how to get it working with, uh, with Pocket Network. But I think, um, yeah, the last time I checked with them was they had some PRs on their own repo, not IBC Go for implementing IBC, but I just didn't have the resource to like review all those PRs uh, personally. Um, I, I wasn't aware that, like uh, I, I know about the ICS 23 PR they made more recently, but I don't know if they've made any other PRs to IBC Go that. Uh, yeah, I yeah. think they made the first one and they were basically told to go somewhere else and they don't feel like their contributions are valued on the repository. So they called me very confused and frustrated yesterday. So I think what happened is actually, um, we asked Penumbra to give a review uh, because they had some insight. Um, and a review of what? A review of what? Uh, ICS 23 pull request, which I, I think see. is being talked about now. And they, recommended not to make changes to ICS 23. And they said that they could achieve what they needed to achieve without modification to the repo and using the same approach that Penumbra went with. So Pocket is using a different SMT implementation that is closer to the actual SMT paper. Jellyfish Merkle Tree is not an SMT implementation that is like compliant with the paper. So there's some tricks that Penumbra was able to use that Pocket will not be able to use. So it, I think regardless of that individual PR, the broader issue is that there's a team that's dedicated resources to this and they're not finding support or anyone on the core repos who's willing to help them out to contribute. And I think that, you know, if they can't find the help they need to contribute, they will just go do it on their own. And that's wasted work that we could have upstreamed. And I think that these are the opportunities that as an open source project, we really need to take advantage of because there's not, yeah, there's not an infinite amount of people out there looking to implement IBC. And, you know, this idea of generalizing IBC Go so that it works in non-SDK applications is a major priority I, based on the road mapping discussions we've had for IBC as a whole. So this seems like a really wonderful opportunity to get somebody else to do that work for us for free. And I, I'm just interested as to if there's any appetite from the core team to work with them on that. Um, but it sounds so, like, yeah. And I have just, actually, yeah. yeah, sorry. Seder and I have actually been on a call twice with Harry. And they uh, scheduled another call with, um, I I I think Olic Olix, uh, I I'm not sure his name because I haven't actually met him yet. Um, but then they cancelled because they had their own, um, offsite or something. Um, so it's not that we went. I'm just it yeah. Was, I'm yeah, just Denver. I'm just passing on. I'm just passing on what they told me yesterday. So, um. Yeah, I'm going to continue to chat with them and see what I can do to support them. But again, I, I don't have the ability to merge into those repos. So there's only so much I can do to help. And I, I just wanted to flag this item. Glad we were able to enter it into the meeting. I'll I'll stop there. Um, did you, I'm just curious, did you leave a review for the PR even though you don't have the right to merge it? Because it can help, like, uh, I guess, if you come later to review. Uh, and also, they can also improve their work. Yeah, I mean, you know, we have a ton of other maintenance tasks to do. You know, right. it is not our job to support the core repository. We have IBC apps, we've got the relayer, we've got a bunch of surface area that we need to maintain. Yeah. And 
the generalization of the Go libraries is something that's going to touch a lot of code that we use too. So this is of interest to us seeing this done sooner so that we can get to work on that IBC apps update to be more general. Um, and mm -hmm. yeah, it, yeah. No, right. I mean like verbal feedback. I did like also like, I didn't mean to say it's irresponsibility or something. It seems like you, you've reviewed it. So that's why I asked like, did this happen in the past? I, I have not know. reviewed it. I, I have not reviewed it in detail. I have not read through their PR. Um, I had a conversation with them yesterday and I'm passing on what they told me. Yeah, this is, this is a call to discuss IBC core development, right? This is an appropriate forum for that discussion. Correct. Yeah. 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 This is when Serdar and I spoke with Harry. Uh, he said the first priority was making an implementation specifically for Pocket, and then in the future they would look to be making it generic. So what they like... told what, what they told me is they'd be open to working with the, the core team to do that work instead of to do that work on the core repos. But I, I think that you know if we're thinking about a more general IBC Go, it might be impossible to ref or it might take way longer to refactor the existing code to pull out the SDK types rather than pull out the business logic into a separate repository and then rebuild those SDK types on top of it. Uh, this is just an implementation detail of how we get to a more general IBC go in my mind. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I, th I think we are, we are open definitely to collaboration with them. Um, yeah, we just need to see where we can fit, uh, um, given uh, our commitments we have and the resources we have, the capacity. Um, but yeah, I think I think we're happy to talk to to them and, and see how we can work together. Um, regarding the ICS twenty three PR, I will yeah I, I didn't know that uh, they couldn't that they, they cannot uh, make the same change. As Penumbra did in JMT, uh, so I can I can start the discussion again with with them Penumbra and Aditya when when he's back from holiday, uh, yeah, first week of September, and then we can see yeah if the other if there's no other alternative then we can see if we can merge the PR in ICS twenty three. All right, so um, yeah, thanks for thanks for um, sharing that, uh, Jack. Um, yeah, and we definitely don't want to give the impression that we're not open for collaboration. If, if that's the impression that people get, it's because yeah, we're busy with uh, other stuff and yeah, we cannot handle everything. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely love collaboration in open source. All right. Um, anything else about Pocket Network discussion or or any other topic? All right, if not, um, yeah, sorry again for the problems with Zoom. Um, yeah, um, Zoom is sometimes a diabolic tool, so. All right, uh, if nothing else, we can wrap up. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you. See you in two weeks. Bye. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye, See everybody. You.